Welcome everyone, this is Zan Ta with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2021 and particularly to the Steel Object Enhancement features. I have Autodesk Revit 2021 open up. I have a very simple model here to show what they have updated in 2021. Couple of things. We have a connection that's drawn here based off of heading to the steel tab of the ribbon and the connection command here. This was created using that tool. And when you initially select it, if you look at customize command here, it's gonna ask you to give it a name, you click okay, and then you can add or remove content to that. So it doesn't really help in the standpoint of manipulating it too much. Uh, for example, the shape, if you select it and hit break, it will break it. And then once you've done that, you can tab into the selection of it and you can click edit boundary. This will allow you to see the magenta lines that represent the boundaries of that plate shape. And you can adjust it or you can redraw it to whatever you need. As long as you abide by the basic rules like making sure it's a closed loop and there are no gaps or overlaps anywhere. When you finish and you hit the green check mark, it will draw the plate for you and it'll make the adjustment. The other is when we take a look at a situation like this, where the beam goes up and meets into some kind of specialized wall and you need to cut out and make the edge contour of the beam to follow that of the wall, people will initially go to say a flat elevation view and then they'll try to use the command for opening by face and when you do this and you pick the face of that beam and you try to draw something I'll just draw a simple rectangle and hit the green check mark it doesn't do anything and so you're like what, what happened and then on top of that you have to do a window crossing to select it so you can get rid of it. In order to make that type of cut, you'll want to head over to the steel tab of the ribbon and you want to use a contour cut command. So when I click this command, it'll ask me to select the vertical plane. So I'll pick that vertical plane and then it goes into sketch mode again. And this time I can draw either using pick lines, that exact edge or something that I want. Uh, I don't have pick tools. If you notice here, it doesn't list it. So I'm going to use the line command and I'm going to draw this. And it doesn't even give you the ability to, to draw with an offset in the options toolbar. So for now, I'm going to draw this so that it's right on the edge of the wall. And then what I'll do as well when you're drawing it, you can draw it so that it's aligned and locked, the line work that you do, to the sketch of the wall so that if the sketch profile of the wall updates, then your cut sketching will also match. So right now, none of it is aligned and locked. If I were just to finish the command, it'll allow me to draw it. And if we look at it in 3D, this is what it looks like. And it's a little hard to see and understand what happened because I drew it exactly on that edge. Now, if I go back, and by the way, the contour cut functionality is only visible if you're in a fine level of detail. So you can tab into it to get to it. And then you can click uh, Edit Family and you can modify it or you can do a window crossing to select it and then edit boundary again. This time I will go ahead and use the offset function with say an offset of one inch and then I'll draw it like this instead. Now if I use the tab key I can actually highlight all of them at one shot and let it draw it this way and then I can clean up what I don't need. And so I'll get rid of this and get rid of this and get rid of these inner ones here. So our sketch now consists of 
this outer edge here. Now if I type in TL, it'll give you a little bit better thickness of, of what you're seeing. And if I hit the green check mark, it'll finish it and you can see that that modify uh, command for contour cut really does cut the beam like it's supposed to. So the 2021 update allows you to start really manipulating a little bit more of how you want to draw things so that it looks uh, a lot more exact. So let me rotate this over here so you can see what's happening. Those are the new enhanced features to um, object manipulation and editing in Revit 2021 for steel objects. Thank you very much for watching.